After two days was the feast of the Passover and of unleavened bread. And the chief priests and the scribes sought how they might take him by craft and put him to death. But they said, Not on the feast day, lest there be an uproar of the people. And being in Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, as he sat at meat, there came a woman having an alabaster box of ointment of spikenard, very precious, and she broke the box and poured it on his head. And there were some who were indignant within themselves and said, Why was this ointment wasted? For it might have been sold for more than three hundred pence, and have been given to the poor. And they murmured against her. And Jesus said, Let her alone. Why trouble ye her? She hath wrought a good work on me. For ye have the poor with you always, and whensoever ye will, ye may do them good, but me ye have not always. She hath done what she could, she hath come beforehand to anoint my body for burial. Verily I say unto you, wheresoever this gospel shall be preached throughout the whole world, this also that she hath done shall be spoken of as a memorial of her. And Judas Iscariot, one of the twelve, went unto the chief priests to betray him unto them. And when they heard it, they were glad and promised to give him money. And he sought how he might conveniently betray him. And on the first day of unleavened bread, when they killed the Passover lamb, his disciples said unto him, Where wilt thou have us go and prepare, that thou mayest eat the Passover? And he sent forth two of his disciples and said unto them, Go ye into the city, and there shall meet you a man bearing a pitcher of water, follow him. And wheresoever he shall go in, say ye to the master of the house, The master saith, Where is the guest chamber where I shall eat the Passover with my disciples? And he will show you a large upper room furnished and prepared, there make ready for us. And his disciples went forth, and came into the city, and found it as he had said unto them, and they made ready the Passover. And in the evening he came with the twelve. And as they sat and ate, Jesus said, Verily I say unto you, One of you who eat with me shall betray me. And they began to be sorrowful and to say unto him one by one, Is it I? And another said, Is it I? And he answered and said unto them, It is one of the twelve that dippeth with me in the dish. The Son of Man indeed goeth, as it is written of him, But woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. Good were it for that man if he had never been born. And as they ate, Jesus took bread, and blessed and broke it, and gave it to them and said, Take, eat, this is my body. And he took the cup, and when he had given thanks he gave it to them, and they all drank of it. And he said unto them, This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many. Verily I say unto you, I will drink no more of the fruit of the vine, until that day that I drink it new in the kingdom of God. And when they had sung a hymn, they went out into the Mount of Olives. And Jesus said unto them, all ye shall be offended because of me this night, for it is written, I will smite the shepherd, and the sheep shall be scattered. But after I am risen, I will go before you into Galilee. But Peter said unto him, Although all shall be offended, yet will I not. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee that this day, even in this night, before the cock crows twice, thou shalt deny me thrice. But Peter spoke the more vehemently, If I should die with thee, I will not deny thee in any way. Likewise also said they all. And they came to a place which is named Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit yet here while I shall pray. And he took with him Peter and James and John, and began to be sore amazed and very heavy of heart. And he said unto them, My soul is exceeding sorrowful unto death, tarry yet here, and watch. And he went forward a little, and fell on the ground and prayed that if it were possible, the hour might pass from him. And he said, Abba, Father, all things are possible unto thee. Take away this cup from me, nevertheless not what I will, but what thou wilt. And he came back and found them sleeping, and said unto Peter, Simon, sleepest thou? Couldest thou not watch one hour? Watch ye and pray, lest ye enter into temptation. The spirit truly is ready, but the flesh is weak. And again he went away and prayed and spoke the same words. And when he returned he found them asleep again, for their eyes were heavy, neither knew they what to answer him. And he came the third time and said unto them, Sleep on now and take your rest. It is enough, the hour is come, behold, the Son of Man is betrayed into the hands of sinners. Rise up, let us go. Lo, he that betrayeth me is at hand. And immediately, while he yet spoke came Judas, one of the twelve, and with him a great multitude with swords and staves, from the chief priests and the scribes and the elders. And he that betrayed him had given them a sign, saying, Whomever I shall kiss, 
that same is he. Take him and lead him away safely. And as soon as he had come, he went straightway to him and said, Master, Master. And kissed him. And they laid their hands on him and took him. And one of those who stood by drew a sword, and smote a servant of the high priest and cut off his ear. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Have ye come out, as against a thief, with swords and with staves to take me? I was daily with you in the temple teaching, and ye took me not. But the scriptures must be fulfilled. And they all forsook him and fled. And there followed him a certain young man, having a linen cloth cast about his naked body, and the young men laid hold on him. And he left the linen cloth and fled from them naked. And they led Jesus away to the high priest, and with him were assembled all the chief priests and the elders and the scribes. And Peter followed him afar off, even into the palace of the high priest. And he sat with the servants, and warmed himself at the fire. And the chief priests and all of the council sought for witness against Jesus to put him to death, and found none. For many bore false witness against him, but their witness agreed not together. And there arose certain ones who bore false witness against him, saying. We heard him say, I will destroy this temple that is made with hands, and within three days I will build another made without hands. But neither did their witness agree together. And the high priest stood up in the midst and asked Jesus, saying, Answerest thou nothing? What is it which these witness against thee? But he held his peace and answered nothing. Again the high priest asked him and said unto him, Art thou the Christ, the Son of the Blessed? And Jesus said, I am, and ye shall see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of power, and coming in the clouds of heaven. Then the high priest rent his clothes and said, Why need we any further witnesses? Ye have heard the blasphemy. What think ye? And they all condemned him to be deserving of death. And some began to spit on him, and to cover his face, and to buffet him, and to say unto him, Prophesy. And the servants struck him with the palms of their hands. And as Peter was below in the courtyard, there came one of the maids of the high priest. And when she saw Peter warming himself, she looked upon him and said, And thou also wast with Jesus of Nazareth. But he denied it, saying, I know not, neither understand I what thou sayest. And he went out into the porch, and the cock crowed. And a maid saw him again and began to say to those who stood by, This is one of them. And he denied it again. And a little after, those who stood by said again to Peter, Surely thou art one of them, for thou art a Galilean, and thy speech agreeth thereto. But he began to curse and to swear, saying, I know not this man of whom ye speak. And the second time the cock crowed. And Peter called to mind the words that Jesus had said unto him, Before the cock crows twice, thou shalt deny me thrice. And when he thought thereon, he wept.